Hey guys, today we are going to look at exponential regression with Desmos. We're going to answer the question, how can data be modeled with an exponential equation and how can I use a regression equation to solve problems? So often real world data rapidly increases or decreases like an exponential curve. So we can use exponential regression on graphing calculators to write the equation of best fit by following the steps below. So today we're going to use Desmos. I have the Desmos app pulled up on my iPad. You can also go to this website right here, desmos.com slash graphing. And the first thing that we need to do is tell Desmos that we want to input data in a table. So type table into the first line, and then we'll enter our data into the table. And then in a new line under the table, we will type in the regression equation. Y1 is about A times B to the X1. And we're gonna make sure that we check log mode so our equation is correct. And a note, make sure that your table matches the equation. Like see my table here has X1 and Y1. So that's what we would put in our equation. If the table has different numbers then you need to change that regression equation. All right, so let's look at our first example here. It says the following data represents the amount of money Shay has in his account each year for six years. So I'm gonna go ahead and input this data into Desmos. I already pulled up my table by typing table. And now let me input the data. Okay, and I'm gonna double check that my data is correct because if anything is off, it's gonna throw my equation off. Looks like it's all good. So now I'm ready to type in my regression equation to a new line, which is Y1 is about A times B to the X1 since my X values and Y values in the table were labeled with a one. So we're gonna do Y1 is about A times b to the x1. Let me put that parentheses in there. There we go, to the x1. Okay, and then make sure you check log mode or your equation will not be correct. Okay, and here is our equation of best fit. A is 2019, so it'll be y equals, sorry, 2019 times my B value is 1.057, so I'm gonna round that to 1.06 to the X. And then the next question is, does this model growth or decay? That would be growth because our B value of 1.06 is greater than one. And it says, what is the average annual rate of return? That would be how much it's growing by. To figure that out, I would do 1.06 minus one, which is 0 0.06, which means that is a 6% growth rate. And then how much money will he have in 2022? Remember our data is years since 2010. So to figure out how much money he will have in 2022, I'm gonna subtract my 2010 from it and I get 12. I'm gonna replace X in my equation with 12. So I'm gonna do 20,019 times 1.06 to the 12th to figure out how much money he will have in 2022. I think I have an extra zero in there, yep. Times 1.06 to the 12th and he will have about $40,282.16. All right, let's look at the next question. It says, since 2017, the Western Pacific leatherback sea turtle population has been declining at an exponential rate. The table shows the estimated population of sea turtles for each year since 2017. And the first thing it's asking us for is the equation of best fit. So I'm going to go to Desmos and type table. So I'm able to input this data into Desmos and I'm gonna start inputting the data. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm gonna double check that my data matches, that I didn't make any mistakes. Looks good, so now I'm ready to type that regression equation, my table's x1, y1, so that's what I'm gonna include in my equation. y1 is about a parentheses b to the x1, and then I'm gonna make sure I check log mode. And my A value is 1,399.76, and my B value is 0 0.94. So my equation of best fit is Y equals 1,399.76 times 0 0.94 to the X. And the next question is asking for my average rate of decay. That has to do with the B value. Since it's less than one, I'm decaying. To figure out how much I'm decaying by, I'm going to do 1 minus 0 0.94, which is 0 0.6, 0 0.06. So that means I have a 6% average rate of decay. And then the last question is, what would you expect the sea turtle population to be in 2030? So my data is years since 2017. So I need to do 2030 minus 2017 to figure out what value I'm gonna use for X in my equation. And 2030 minus 2017 is 13. So I'm gonna replace X in my equation with 13 to figure this out. So I'll do 1,399.76 times 0 0.94 to the 13th. And that will tell me the sea turtle population in 2030. which is about 626 turtles. All right, last question says the value of a stamp has increased throughout the years. The table below shows the value of a stamp in cents for each year since 1998. And it's asking for the equation of best fit. So I need to make a new table in Desmos. And I'm going to input my data. I'm going to double check that it's correct. Looks good. So now I'm ready to type my regression equation using x1 and y1. So it'll be y1 is about a parentheses b to the x1. And I'm going to check log mode. And there are my a and b values. So my equation of best fit is y equals 31.69 times 1.03 to the x. And the next question says, by what percent is the price changing? So the B value tells me how much my price is changing by. I know that it's going up because 1.03 is greater than one. To figure out how much it's going up by, I'll subtract one from that and I get 0 0.03 or 3%. And then the last question says, what would you expect the price of a stamp to be in 2018? So remember my X value is years since 1998. So I need to do 2018 minus 1998 to figure out what value to substitute in for X, which is 20. So I have my equation of best fit. I'm gonna replace X with 20. So I'll do 31.69 times 1.03 to the 20th. And it would be about 57 cents.